stood and took everything George had. I'm, I'm, I'll be here five more years before there's a threat of me being beat. And when, the, when that threat comes along, it's a real threat, um, would you then pull out before you take the, the, the gamble of going out as a defeat? If I'm the champion, I've defeated everybody, and a real threat is up, and I really believe I can't win, it will be wise to get out while I'm on top. Yeah. What, what, in fact, if you could build the fighter now who's going to defeat you, I mean, what qualities would he have to have? He'd have to be about my height, a little taller. He'll have to be uh, about one-tenth of a second faster. He'll have to hit real hard. He'll have to be faster than me on his feet. He'll have to be more experienced. And when you add it all up, it ain't nobody just going to come up like that. they got to build themselves up, and I'll see them while they're building. Mm. Nobody's just going to start fighting tomorrow and have these qualities. No, no it's going to take some time. It takes time, and I don't see nobody on the horizon. If I'm not in condition, if I'm not serious, there's quite a few that might win. Yes. But if I'm serious, go in the idea with Allah, God in my heart, and uh, I'm fighting for a cause. See, I bring God into my fights. I'm not fighting for me. See, I'm not on this show talking just for publicity. Everything I do is a purpose involved. See, I'm not just here for money. You're not paying me. I'm serious. So what I'm doing is I'm serious. So we, we like whenever, I, whenever I go, well, I don't know it. Whenever I go in the box, <laughs> job officer staff, I'm getting paid. You didn't tell me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the check's in the post. You told me? <laughs> I caught you too today, didn't I? <laughs> you won't trap me, man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Uh, Everything I do is for purpose, and I'm, I'm seriously, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'll, I'll wear one suit a day, I can only eat one meal a day, I can't drive one car a day, can't sleep in one bed a night, I have plenty of that. So I'm now seriously working for my people. That's all. I don't expect you to feel like I do. I don't feel about your people like you do. It's not nature. But for the black people of America, the Urban League, the NACP, the civil rights, Martin Luther King and being killed, all the civil rights leaders are dead and shot. Are they down? The white presidents and governors who tried to help us, they didn't got shot. Our people are still struggling. We've been at 400 years, worked in all the wars, died, built the country. We still try. All I want to do is to die a life Muslim fighting for my people. And this thing in boxing is serious with me. When you see me in the ring fighting, it's not just to prove I can beat this man. It's to beat this man and to go back to Chicago and walk Skid Row. Go to Harlem where the black people are taking needles every day. Dope is a big thing in America now. People are dying. Black women are walking the streets, prostituting themselves. When Muhammad Ali come out, for one hour they're righteous. So my fighting is for a purpose to pray to Allah, represent Allah, and go back to the hells of America and walk the streets of my downtrodden people because all big black people don't no more want to be black. I can say it loudly on television here in the world. No, I'm the only big million dollar making in the white man's world of prestige who speaks for his people 100% and don't give a damn about the money, being shot, take the title, take it all, and to go to jail tomorrow. I love my people, and I'm not going to sell them out, make no movies, and mislead them, and marry blondes, because I'm one Negro who the boss let me come in the castle, and the rest of them in the fields catching hell. I'm going to the fields and represent them if it means die. So that's why I'll fight. So now you know from now here, Muhammad Ali signed the fight is for freedom of black people. Now God is involved. What? Now you're fighting a spiritual holy war when you face me now. Well, Muhammad, you've talked about black and white, and you have in the audience tonight some members of the England boxing team, England, and you'll see black and white faces. Right, we know. And that. what does worry me, um, thinking in terms of your uh, position as champion of the world and the respect that a lot of people have got for you in this country, is that you could use that influence to unite as the ethics of sport require and not divide. Yes, you know who. You might be right. Good question. You even got a hand for me. I'm sure how wrong everybody else will even clap if they think that's right. I say my wisdom. Now, you're right. Unite. This, it'd be good if I could use this to unite. But even your Christianity teaching, all people agree, charity first begins at home. God helps those who help themselves. That's all I got to say. It means you wrong, they might clap wrong. Negroes are cutting each other up. Oh, we pull each other down. White people are not our trouble. 
White people really don't bother us. It's our own people fighting and killing and prostituting black pimps, selling them women to white men all around New York. Black pro We got to get together. I can't teach no unity. I come trying to unite you all. Some bigot can walk up who don't like unite. You got white people who don't like blacks too. Can stand up and say, hell, you over here trying to unite England and the world, and hell, in Chicago, 37 Negroes got killed last weekend on a, in different nightclubs. 37 Negroes is scary. 37 Negroes shot each other over women or gambling or the ideal. Last week in Chicago, 37. We are not one. And once we get to be one, if there's any more love left, we say, all right, let's go over and unite with them. But we're not together. So you had a good little question according to your knowledge. And all of you clapped, that was to your knowledge. But everything was wrong. I'm right in uniting mine first. Can't come over messing with you. And when I say unite, how far should I unite? Should we integrate as far as your woman? Should I come over here looking for your woman? No, now we got to know how to integrate when we start integrating. I'm integrating today. His daughter, his whoever, my, I, I got girls of all races come to me every day. Hey, Mr. Jarvis Astaire, he's an English businessman. He's sitting in the lobbies of the hotel. Oh, uh, how are you? All kind. How are you, ma'am? I treat you nice. I know where I belong. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Every man loves a son that look like himself. So if we're going to integrate, how far should we integrate? Should I come after your daughter because I can take advantage of her? I'm the world champion, and 